Hey guys, and welcome back um, to tutorial 3 this time in Python. So, um, this time we're going to be discussing some of the built in operations we can do with math in Python. And, well, a reason for covering this material, I guess, is because in programming you do a lot of operations with math and basic math. So, let's take a look at some of the, well, basic built in mathematical operations given to us in Python, Python 3. It's a little bit different than Python 2. But, um, so we have our basic adding and subtracting. So we can add two numbers together. Or we can subtract, like so. And we have our negative numbers, too. So we can put a negative in front of a number here. But um, that's basic, basic adding and subtracting. Simple, I know. But, um, Multiplying and dividing, we can uh, multiply two numbers by using the asterisk or star symbol. So 2 star 3 is actually 2 times 3. We get our 6. Or if we had, I don't know, negative 2 times negative 5, positive 10. Well, yeah, I think you get it by now. But anyways, for division, it's just a forward, forward slash. So dash, I think it's called. You would do, uh, let's say, 3 divided by 4. We get our, uh, well, our real number back, 0 0.75. But let's say if we wanted to divide two numbers, but in this case, we wanted to do inter integer division. So let's say we divide 10 divided by 2, for example, and we wanted to see how many times 2 goes into 10 and later get the remainder. Well, we can do that with the double forward slash. This is where Python is, um, diff Python 3 is a little bit different than Python 2. So, say we take 10, double forward slash, uh, well, forward slash 3, okay. 3 goes into 10 three times. There's a remainder of 1, but we don't get our real number back, the decimal number back. So, we just get how many times 3 goes into 10. If we wanted to get the, um, the remainder, we use what they call the modulus symbol, which is the percentage sign. So, taking 3, and where's the... Oh, there it is. Percentage sign. 10 mod 3. There's a remainder, 1. So, that's pretty much um, different means of division in Python. Well, we can also do uh, powers. So, say we wanted to raise something to a power, and by powers, like let's say we had two to the power of three, that'd be two, two, two. Yeah. Okay. Two times two times two. Two multiply by itself three times. If we want to streamline that, we use two stars, two uh, asterisks. So that would be two star star three. And there you go. 2 to the power 3. Remember, if we wanted to change the order of operations, we can use parentheses. But um, our typical order of operations, you know, we we use our exponents first, and then our multiplying divide next, and adding and subtracting last. But changing that, we can just surround our operations by parentheses, I suppose. But, um, yeah. Anyhow, um, one other thing I'd like to note too is in Python, Python gives us um, immediate access to imaginary numbers or complex numbers. So, say we had a complex number it was a real value of two, an imaginary number of three. We type that out with, well, a real number like we normally do, but we put uh, a j after the imaginary component. So there you see is our complex number and you need to make sure you always put a value in front of j in Python 3 because if you just type 2 plus j for example and assume that that means 1j you get an error because well it assumes it's a variable but yeah you can do some other stuff There's some other examples here with imaginary numbers 
let's see. I don't know. Can we divide this guy by... Yeah, well, whatever. But those are complex numbers. So anyhow, um, yeah, this is pretty much, uh, pretty much all I was going to cover for built-in math and Python 3. But um, if I missed anything, you can always send me a mad email or something, but I'll go over it again later when I start talking a little bit more about some of the mathematical operations Python gives us. But uh, this should be enough for now, so all right, hold tight, stay tuned, and see you in the next tutorial. Take it easy.